What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, um, and today we're going to be talking about what Sasuke's impact is going to have in it. Now, um, I did say I was going to drop like three or four videos today, but um, I remembered, I said that in my last video. Now, I remembered that update is tonight, so I'm going to be dropping like two more videos after these two videos I dropped today already. So I don't want to have to flood you guys with like six or seven videos, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and... Uh, schedule the other videos out for like tomorrow and the next day and stuff like that so i can get a lot more videos out to you guys throughout the week instead of like taking days off because i, I i'm t i've told y'all the past three four videos i'm back on the grind um i'm ready to get it um i took a break from blazing i was just burnt out but i'm good now i'm ready to get back to it so let's go ahead and get into it so anyways we're going to be talking about um the super impact that sasuke is going to be having come out right uh now what was I about to say? Um, every impact that comes out from now on is going to be an SS rank super impact, right? So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into that and talk about that. So, uh, to do that, we're going to be talking about what Atachi has as a unit. Because if you didn't realize, Atachi is the Blazing Fest unit that came out for the impact. Now, with Atachi being the Blazing Fest unit, that means that the stuff that he does is going to counter what Sasuke does in a super impact. So, um, yeah, starting out, Sasuke um, is going to be Wisdom simply because of Tachi's bravery. Now, I know they do the Wisdom bravery thing a lot, which is kind of like blah, but it's fine. So, um, one thing that isn't upside to Sasuke being Wisdom is the fact that a lot of people's bravery teams are really, really stacked and really, really busted. I'm going to make a video about this later on, and I'll probably do a video of, like, bravery only without Atachi because, um... I don't think you'll need Itachi for this, simply because bravery is so stupid. Like, bravery is literally retarded. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, but anyway, so yeah, let's get into it. So, uh, filth and buddy skill are reduced immobilization. So, literally, based off of that, um, Sasuke is going to immobilize. That's number one. Sasuke is going to be able to immobilize, which... Um, I don't know what that would be. I'm guessing it would be like Chidori True Spear, maybe, where he immobilizes. I don't know. Yeah. Um, then going on, um, his first Jutsu, he can leave Amaterasu on the ground. Now, it's kind of like Taka Sasuke's ultimate, except it's a regular Jutsu, which is really, really good. Um, that doesn't really portray anything or tell us anything. Um, I think the Amaterasu does true damage, by the way, because uh, um, I know Sasuke's does. So, I, I don't know. I think Itachi's does. But anyways, going on to the ultimate, right? 80% chance of mobilized for three turns. Removes their perfect dodge. Ignores substitution and knocks them back. So, we can already see Sasuke is going to have a mobilization off rip. He's going to... And, th and that's good because that gives us insight to what the character, the unit's going to be... Going to have whenever we use them also. He's going to have a mobilization, perfect dodge, and or substitution. So, um, that's another thing that's going to be really, really cool. Um, going on to Atachi's um, icons. Um, icons? What? Abilities. Excuse me. Um, one of his abilities, which is a new ability, uh, nullifies knockback and pull effects from Jutsu slash Ultimates. So Sasuke is going to be having some pull and push effects, kind of like Pain did in his impact, and um, a, a couple of other units. So um, over the course of all this. Sasuke is going to have a mobilization. He's going to have perfect dodge and or substitutions. He's going to have push and pull effects from his Jutsu or ultimate, right? So, um, yeah, with that, now his um, sync skill is nullified Jutsu ceiling and chakra recovery ceiling, but I don't think that is catering towards Sasuke. I feel like that's more catering towards PvP. Now, I could be wrong, so I don't know. But um, going back to what I was talking about, um, Sasuke, yeah, like I said, Sasuke's going to have a mobilization, um, a mobilization, perfect dodge, inner substitution, knockback, and push. So, um, those are just things you would like to look for. Uh, really good units to take would be like, and this is for pretty much any raid, but specifically this one, because of what they can do. But, uh, Six Path Naruto, he could take away shields, perfect dodge, substitution, all that. Uh, six path moderate he can take away substitution perfect dodge all of that um obviously you want to take healers you want to take people that have high immobilization resistance which i think naruto's very last skill does i'm not sure um but also 
uh, as far as wisdom units, you want to find some people that can do that as well. So um, I just wanted to go over that, talk to you guys a little bit, a little bit of speculation on what I think is going to be in the Sasuke raid. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.